Smoke and ashes now. I should get those salads off my back. Ah, glad to see you made it, Chilpat. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. 
Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Lady Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. You have not been... At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Yalt's corner, and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. All you say is nonsense, Dag. Have I done something to raise your ire? Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? <sighs> Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. <laughs> with me! Nothing for you here!
the car. That the last of them. The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find. An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. <laughs> Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. May there be one who mourns you at home, for we will not. Eivor, I could have sent my scouts to follow him home. We might have learned something. The price of such disrespect is death, Ranvi. Just as Sigurd would have done. I cannot devise a strategy if my advice is ignored. To let that man live would announce to the world that we are soft and cowardly. Now these wayward Danes know to fear us. Forgive my haste, Ranvi, but Dag is right. For once you see clearly. I beg the gods that it continues. We should clean this mess and move the bodies from the camp. Agreed. Then we talk of our next steps, together. Inspiring tale. An inspiring tale. Far more fitting than that terrible day. At least you changed my name. And she got a dragon in. Always with the dragons. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? 
Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnia myself. A good plan. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands. Norwich, suffering hard times, I see. What's happening? Finir? Oh, no, not unless Halfton sent you. Let's pretend Halfton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finir, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom when this is the speed you work at? Uh, I found him already. And as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? Ugh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with a backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? 
If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane? For a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. The settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace, with land to till and home to keep, without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes, for as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdus. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the hold-up? The hold-up? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdus. Her brothers don't approve of me. Quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's beating. This area is our voice. Oh, God, be straight! Ah! Let's slow! 
Throw this imp! You see how they tremble as we thunder by. Come! Throw some of this bitch! Druid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Healthful scene in town. This asphalt has done well for himself. Look there. Yeah. Alone, Dane. You can't trust that. Shh. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Guards here are vigilant.
Day. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Be careful out there. I did. Put them right over there. Can't raise the sail yet. Let's have a song. Dark is the shadow. Run up the sail. And destroy the off the land. Be prone. Lands until they go down. Stubborn monarchs and uncrowned. 
See you, old friend. Did you demand that that horrible? The nail house. This must be it. <laughs> Shh. 
Show me. Looking for two men, not locals, a Norse and an Arab. The fellas the soldiers came after. If I were you, friend, I'd keep mum about them. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother. A large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. Thieving Carter. Here's your silver. Thank you kindly. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window and ran for the river. I'd wager they hid in one of the fish houses there. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Survey the area, Sunan. Smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan, Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I... What do you see? Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. 
He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Spread your wings, Sunan. this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy-ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenophotshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Oh, Gidditch! What have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Now you to fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Basim! Eivor! To horse!
Off again, Aver. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. I hope... ...traced in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. I'm speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales your siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Patience, Aver. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you may take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. <laughs>